are back with another video. It's Alex R one more time. This time we're doing another non tekken video. I've been doing a little bit of cross training. Uh, this time we are uh, doing a little bit of uh, Dead or Alive last Dead or Alive Five last round. So this game, well, you know, I've been enjoying this game. I think this is a this is a very good fighting game uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, and if you can kind of get over the character models, uh, or if you like the character models then maybe you would enjoy this. I, th I think this is good for people who like 3D fighters. Um, I, I can honestly think I recommend this as a, as a good cross-training for Tekken. So I've been playing a bunch of ranked matches. Uh, this is on PS3, I think. I think the uh, really serious competitive community is on PS4 now. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm playing uh, New Tengu. Uh, yeah, let's watch this. I picked somewhere I lost and somewhere I won. For the, but I gotta say, like, for the most part in this game. So this is uh, Rachel versus me as Nia Tengu. Get ready, fight! All right. So here's Rachel coming in. I get up and do a combo. Get bounced around. This stage is ridiculous. Some of the stages in this game are really cool, but okay, I'm getting comboed. Okay, managed to get up safely, get up walking. Kind of failed the risk punch there. I correctly guessed the mid punch. So here comes Rachel, she likes to be I'm noticing now with a kind of mid kick. I got the mid punch reversal there. Again with the mid punch reversal with punish, but I didn't get much out of it. Ooh, the delays! With the launch into the throw, pretty good. Oh man, okay, so her poke is a mid kick. I should've noticed that. Can she finish it? Got that overhead smash. Okay, that mid kick, it has a lot of distance. The really cool thing about DOA is that the, the kind of like Yomi layer is even built into the combo. So while you're getting comboed, up until very long into the combo, you can guess and, and like do a, a reversal. Which is really cool because if somebody, you know, is doing the same combo over and over again, you can punish them for that. Say, okay, well they always do a mid punch here. You can you can reverse it or they always do a low kick or whatever. Alright, so that was that was pretty convincing. Let's uh let's pick a different replay. That was me losing hard. Okay, so we watched this one. Uh I wanna show you this match. This is me taking on uh Honoka. Honoka is a new character as of some recent DOA. Yeah, so the really interesting thing about this game is that if you get into it, the ranked matches are not, like the skill creep uh, hasn't gotten out of hand in rank. So like you can get into this and there's some very bad players that you can you know, learn again. So for my first play, Got a forfeit. I've only I've only just recently started getting into players that can like, you know, basically know how to do how to fight. Okay, so I'm getting up with a mid kick, which is kind of a bad habit. Although it's like remarkably uh, effective. Side step in, kind of space him out. What I wanted there was I wanted to jump in and throw punish. So my, my get up kick here puts him in a stun state and got a combo out of it. Alright. So that uh that kind of box to the face, that also puts him in a stun state, and that's only an 11 frame uh, thing. So that's kind of like uh it's a really good pose. So I've got a read now. Uh, on when they like to do mid punches. So I'm trying out my uh, 
just uh, standing kick as a poke there. That does stagger them pretty well. So I think that was a throw finish there. In DOA, one of the things you often do is finish the throws. Oh. My back foot kicked into a flight attack. So, oh, they got me before I was able to throw the wind there. Okay, so here's my get a kick. And it's like really close to closing this out. I'm gonna go low. So they stagger me and get a wall combo. That was pretty clutch. Okay, whiffing. Let's pick up my wall combo there. I'm trying for that high kick as a poke. That one's satisfying. You think you pretty cool. Yeah, so this game is this is a really interesting game in here. Right, we watch this one versus Monica. And I guess this is the last one. Uh, this is Mila. Watch Elliot. I played this Elliot a bunch. Like there, there's, this is kind of like a deep lasagna. I played this person over and over again. Elliot, for those who are not in the know, is uh, kind of like Leo, but uh, but a boy. Here I got my uh, black cat suit. Very nice. Leo or uh, Elliot, also with the black cat outfit. So he's running up. I got that overhead kick. We let him stand up. Okay, get the sidestep kick for the watch. For the heavy stun. Sidestep that I can't convert. So that was a moment. They, they're here being like pretty tricky, right? Like, putting me in stun and then waiting. Like. So th there's like a temporal mix up there. Like I don't know when they're gonna turn this button. I'm throwing wind, kind of pretty cheesy. Space is facing. Going in with wind punches. Pretty good. Get ready, fight! Got the low kick. Got that back flip kick. Spacing. One thing to stand up. Just jump in and throw. You can whiff punish with that. It's so fun. Okay, got the side kick. Here comes my combo. That was not a great combo. It's an okay combo. Okay. These are over so fast. Okay, so I think this is this may be the next kind of combo that I know right there. So that was that was pretty good. I got that kick for the swing and then um, this is kind of like a Kind of like a critical stun like, uh, terminology, but the stun system in this game is really cool. There's like a zillion different kinds of stuns. I really need somebody to follow me around with type of guns. Oh, no. All right, so yeah, internet. That kind of gives you a sense about what this game looks like, and uh, yeah, maybe gives you a sense about like why it might be fun. But like the, the the fascinating thing about it is the mind games around the combos. So like, so many kinds of hits that you can do kind of like make it possible to be doing a combo. Uh, but you can break out of it, and and the 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 when you're being comboed, you you have to guess. Like so you you kind of always have to be paying attention. Like. You can't just like you know put down your controller while you're getting juggled. Like you, you have to think about like okay, what are they likely to do next? And if you guess, if you can guess right, you can reversal them right out of the combo. And it's it's so like just really rewarding. Like if you know that they're gonna go for a mid kick or a mid punch or a or a high or a low, there's four different kinds of reversals. Um, if they get predictable, you can reverse it, and it's it's just so good. Um, and you know some of the characters are pretty. Um, I like Nyotengu, uh, but I, I gather she's like not uh, 
super top tier, not even commonly played, but uh, I think she's fun. Her, her flight stances are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm having a little bit of fun with this game, kind of cross-training, and maybe, maybe check it out. Alright, thanks internet. Have fun. See you later.